morning everybody. It's uh, 10 o'clock on a Thursday morning and we are coming to you live from the cockpit of our Mustang. I don't know if the cockpit's the right word, but I was wrestling with the idea of uh, maybe going into reporter mode and, you know, talking about entering into the, uh, you know, the, the hot zone as we're heading over to try and take care of my parents and help them out with a house project. Um, that uh, need some extra hands. So as I'm sure you can imagine that uh, that we are going to take care of them, not just out for a joy ride. Although my sweetie's in the car and we are having fun, right baby? Yes. I don't know if you can see her, but Sally might stick your head in here and wave everybody so that they can see you. Good morning, good morning, good morning. So, man, you guys, it is good. Uh, to see you guys. I'm not paying real close attention to what's on the screen because I'm actually going to be driving and focusing there. But I did want to share with you just a little bit um, about uh, just some thoughts from last night um, at our uh, Wednesday night service and uh, talking about this idea of having godly wisdom in the things that we do. And I've been wrestling with that even more today. Um, as far as how to address, how to deal with people, how to how to love one another in the church, to be this godly example. So, anyway, I've just been wrestling with that and, and thinking in my own heart sometimes how much I need to work on it, um, how, how difficult it is, how much my my personality, my emotions, my feelings, my opinions um, tend to make it pretty difficult to do that. So. Um, anyway, so I've been I've been really struggling with that. Sure appreciate Craig jumping on with us last night, and uh, just had a great time uh, dialoguing with him um, in regards to that. So hey, I did get all of your guys' texts uh, messages last uh, Monday when we were asking you to send in uh, Bible verses and different things. For whatever reason, I didn't see them on my feed until after I had uh, signed off with you guys. So I apologize for that. Um, we may try that again. I think it could be really really fun and um, actually get a little bit more feedback from you. Uh, but I think I'm gonna need to, to get somebody to help me do that, somebody to be watching the feed so that they can they can do that this morning. So anyway, um, so we are out and uh, we're, where are we at, baby? Almost to Ellensburg. Almost to Ellensburg, all right. We, you gotta talk up a little bit louder so that they can hear you. I know my bride doesn't like being on camera, so this is one of those things that is, uh, it's not one of her favorite things to do is to say hi to you guys in person. So we were talking this morning a little bit about um, the Bible study that she's in right now because she's in 1 Samuel. And uh, she was reading through and wrestling with David's, uh, David's issue, or 2 Samuel, I'm sorry, uh, David's uh, issue or her, his continuing to trust God um, and not taking out Saul, even though he had several times and he was constantly reminding his men that he's not to touch the Lord's anointed and that, that humility, that, that dependence on the Lord, that recognition that he's sovereign and that God's the one that's going to avenge him. It was just a great, it was a great conversation this morning around that text and just, just the idea of God being sovereign. And my thought is, I wonder, you know, how would we associate that with our time right now, our times today? Um, it's been a, it's been a great, uh, opportunity for growth being out here on the road um, yeah, obviously I'm out with all the crazy people right now as you guys all know this is God's favorite spot to, to work on my heart and my attitude so here we are opportunity for growth um, and so uh, but but to try and work on my attitude and my my um, my trust in him as sovereign and in him as having having the ability to be in control of all the things that are happening from from who gets uh, who, who it is that that actually passes away to, today whether or not it's uh, COVID or or any other myriad of reasons that they uh, that their life may come to an end today which is obviously a tragedy especially if they don't know the Lord what a great tragedy um, but all the way to the decisions that our governor makes the decision that our president makes the decision that that you and I make or or, or that we make as a church, or we make as a family, um, trusting that God is sovereign. Anyway, it was a great discussion, and just a reminder that if God really is the God of the universe that we claim that he is, then we can trust him with all of these things. Um, so, pretty incredible, pretty great challenge. Hey, would, some, would one of you share, or maybe a couple of you just share with us, um, 
maybe something that was encouraging from our time if you saw us on Wednesday night or maybe reshare something that was encouraging from our Monday coffee with Shane uh, and that, that maybe we didn't get on there. I know that there were several of you that shared some really great passages and some great encouragements that you had um, in, in uh, being in the Word of God and watching what God's doing. My bride's watching her feed right now on Facebook. Um, in fact, you should probably text everybody and say good morning so that they know you're sitting there watching. Oh, you already did? Look at that. She's brilliant. That's why I take her along with me. It makes me a lot better this way. Um, but that way, if she'll she'll let me know if, if one of you guys posts something and we'll highlight whatever that is that, that we see um, in there and, and uh, encourage one another with that. I will tell you guys that this is amazing being out here on the road and uh, just seeing all the farms up and running, all the greenery, uh, people out everywhere. In fact, you know one of the positive things? This is one of the positive things that you guys are gonna laugh at me when I say this, but there have been speed traps out here on the freeway keeping track of everybody's speed. So Elise, do not worry. I am maintaining a positive Christian speed limit and um, and I've driven past several speed traps and, and they they have graciously stayed in their speed trap waiting for somebody that's that's really speeding and, and violating the law. So, but I am excited about that. I'm actually encouraged because um, I think that's one of the things that, that if you've been driving in Spokane and my mom actually mentioned over in the Vancouver or the I-5 corridor area that there, were, there are people that are just running amok, going absolutely nuts, driving ridiculously crazy, putting other people at risk. Um, and so it's great to see that the that our law enforcement officers are getting back out and, and helping to maintain order um, and really appreciate what they're doing, appreciate the work that they're doing um, and the difficulty that it has to be to, to be uh, managing their personal opinions and their responsibilities uh, for their family and, and for the United States and for the state of Washington as they maintain uh, and, and, and uh, work in their field of work. So have you heard anything from anybody? No. My bride says nobody's posted anything that they're encouraged about or that God has really challenged them in. Uh, so I'm going to put it back out there again. You guys, if you've got anything that God's working on you in the, in, in the Word of God or somehow that He's challenged you this this, this week, maybe it was last night in our, in our Wednesday night with Craig and I um, as we dealt with being people of godly wisdom, not of earthly wisdom, and, um, and dealing with that issue of selfish ambition and... Um, and bitter jealousy and, and really addressing the issues of our heart in that um, to, to exercise godly wisdom in what we're doing. So I hope you know, and, and I want to remind you, if you are struggling, if, if you're needing encouragement, if you're needing fellowship, um, if you need to talk to somebody, please call the church and let us know. We have people in the church that are that are willing to call, willing to, to actually go and see people and, and to invest in them and to care for them um, and, and to be there to, to meet those needs. So, But surprisingly, I know this is am it's amazing to you. It's amazing to me. I can't read minds. And although Julie is better than I am at that, she can't read your mind either. So you got to let us know. Uh, give us a phone call and communicate that stuff with us, please. I am super excited because I think that as we go forward, our, our plan to start um, looking for host homes and to begin to implement what we're gonna call Home Church, um, which is brilliant. It's 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 a genius name because we're gonna ask one another, ask you, excuse me, ask you guys to gather in homes to do church. It's brilliant. I mean, I know it took a long time for us to come up with that name. That was one we worked on for days. And, um, but the goal in this is that as we open as a, a state, as we uh, are doing our best to honor, uh, to the best of our ability, the governor's requests um, for, for social distancing, and, and I, I get it. You guys, I, I disagree with different people, and, and I disagree with some of, the, some of the evaluations from a medical standpoint of the things we're doing. I get it. But, but we really want to honor God in this, and we're trying to honor the, 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 to obey the word of God that says to honor our government. Um, and in this particular area, I, I just don't feel like he's asking us to violate the word of God. Um, and so what we want to do as we begin to open up, um, I just want to um, encourage us to uh, actually gather in homes, in home church, and begin to... Um, 
begin to do the fellowship in smaller groups within the uh, geographical areas of our homes and of our neighborhoods. And so uh, I know that we got a couple people working on that and, and hopefully over the next few weeks, uh, we'll be getting phone calls out to one to individuals. And actually my hope is that by Sunday, we'll have a couple of groups ready to fire off uh, because Mayor, uh, um, our, our mayors, one of the Spokane mayors, is really hoping that they'll be opening up Spokane um, this weekend for Memorial Day weekend to get businesses going and, and to start uh, start opening things up. So pretty excited. What do you got? Somebody share um, something? Your mom posted, because James is speaking to the church, I'm not alone in my sin, and I have no reason to judge others. That, very, very good. That's right. And uh, that was one of the things we talked about last night. James is absolutely speaking to the church in this. So... Very good. Somebody else? Is there um, another one? Uh, great ideas to do that for the whole church. And... Very good. I hope you guys are looking forward to that. I, I've been hearing from people just their desire to fellowship, um, their desire to be together, to care for one another, to pray for one another. Um, and uh, I am I am pretty excited about that. I think it's actually potentially going to be one of the great blessings that we get as a church coming out of this process to actually see God move, to see God work, um, and, and to recognize the value of the church and the value of our gathering. And my hope is that, that we enter into this time um, completely changed uh, because we have found um, greater value in one another. We found greater value in in our hearts uh, for what God's designed the church to be, um, and and that we would we would really invest uh, in that relationship. We'd invest in the care of one another, um, in as we consider that, and we'd even invest in the hearts and the souls of our neighborhood. Um, because imagine the, the uh, imagine your neighbors who don't have the church, who don't have hope in Christ, trying to deal with everything that we've been dealing with. Imagine the, 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 the amount of despair that could be in those homes or the amount of fear that could be in those homes or discouragement or even depression being isolated from people. So let's make sure that we're engaging our neighbors, praying for our neighbors, and, and we're asking God how he would have us to be the church. Somebody else? Does somebody else uh, post anything yet? All right. Um, okay. So... Well, we're doing really good, and uh, Sal and I are making great time in our trip, and the weather is beautiful over here, you guys. It's, it's actually just amazing out here, um, and I'm, I'm really, really enjoying our time. So I hope as we uh, continue uh, to follow the Lord and do all these things that you keep your eyes on Jesus and, and keep your, eye, your hearts focused on Him. And uh, because I'm driving and I'm a little distracted, you guys, I'm going to sign off early today and look forward to gathering with you soon. And just pray that God would bless each and every one of you with a passion and a heart, a, a fire to, to, to follow him, to serve him, um, and, and to keep your eyes 